see both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. The Penguins kick things off by winning the opening faceoff, and here we go. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Here's a short pass to Crosby. Rocked him in the open ice. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent... He scores! Sidney Crosby sent the kid! He's not happy with this goal, James. It looks like he thought he was sealed to the post, but there was just enough room to let that puck slide by. Pittsburgh's on the board, the crowd's loving it. I even think the coach is smiling on the bench, too. That's always a good thing when you look back at your coach and they're smiling because it doesn't happen often, James. <laughs> but one thing that does get a smile is a great start because they now know that you are ready right from puck drop, not from just a physical standpoint, but from an emotional side, too. Moves it quickly over to Gensel. Here's a shot turned aside by the goaltender. He really owns the crease when he drops into that butterfly positioning. And for the shooter, I think it's intimidating. He makes himself as big as possible, and everyone knows he's athletic to boot. Through center along the wing. Goes right to the crease! Shesterkin's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Takes control of the puck. Tosses it to Lafreniere. Gains the zone from the right. Sends it to the middle. And that doesn't go as it's off a stick. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Miller's taking it from his own end. He to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Now a quick pass to Trocek. There's a chance in front, and that's blocked in front. Across the line from center. Fires it on net. Oh, what a stop with the pad by Shesterkin. More than half the period has expired. Pittsburgh's up one zip. Ellers won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. New York's ready to go on the attack. Takes it along the wall by Cooley. A chance in front! Oh, and they can't connect on the pass because it was broken up in front. Quick feed to Fox. Here's a shot! Makes the stop with the blocker! Carlson's moving the puck through his own zone. Cuts to the paint! And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Sends the pass over. The Penguins get a hold of the puck. Some good stick work to force that turnover. New York's got a hold of the puck now. Fox is stick handling in his own zone. And here's a shot with the stop. Quick pass to Fox. The Penguins ready to go on the attack. Moves the puck. Taken by Kako. Tripped up on the play. Delayed penalty coming up. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. Well, the bench doesn't like this call, James. It's untimely to say the least with that one goal lead. Now the PK unit, they got to get out there and they got to do a job. Fox's tape-to-tape -tape zone ability means he can make firm, crisp passes to assist his teammates. Crosby's known for switching to the backhand and for good reason. His beauty backhand zone ability makes those shots hard for the goalie to read. I'll be watching these two players to see if one of them can really shine for their team tonight. Guys, back to you. Achari's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Trocek's won the face-off here in the offensive zone. He was locked in there. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Locks him. Face off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. Malkin's 
hard to shove off the puck because he's got such great strength and balance, guys. We call that his unstoppable force zone ability, and it's what really helps him maintain possession for his team. Pittsburgh's won the faceoff at center. The Rangers gain possession along the wall. Pass to Trocek. Here's a shot. Turned aside with a glove by Jari. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Crosby's ready for the draws that will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Trocek's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. The Rangers gain control of the puck. Oh, tremendous reflexes as he turns aside the one-timer. Wow! And it's kicked away. Ellers' penalty is almost expired. The Rangers can't convert on the power play. Both sides are back to even strength. Specialty teams are critical, especially when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity to get the equalizer, and they just weren't able to generate anything on that one. And that's a tough one to take as they remain down by a goal at even strength. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. The Penguins win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. There's the horn, still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. Looking for the latest news, scores, and statistics? Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Jari's been fantastic in the game so far, James. I mean, he's the only reason his team is still in it. Here's a shot. And there's a club save on the play. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. The Penguins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Moves it to Fox. Takes the puck at the point. Takes the shot. Oh, and that one pumps up short as he just gets enough of that one. Here's a short pass to Latang. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. New York's got it in their own zone. Tries to the crease. Slides the pass over to Latang. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. Panarin's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Oh, what a stop by Chari. Takes the feed. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Pinned up along the boards. New York's got the puck in the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to Lafreniere. On the attack along the boards. The Penguins take possession in the defensive end. Bank pass off the boards. New York's got the puck. Shot! Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Quick feed to Smith. Quick shot! Oh, misses the net! You know he'll want that one back, Cheryl. Well, he certainly will, James. That puck is following him around. And you can see he saw the opening, but wasn't able to put it on net. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. one nothing to score. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. The Penguins will play it in their own end. Oh, look at this chance. puliarby has got it deep in the offensive end. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Shesterkin's last save was outstanding, James. I mean, it was a valiant effort. That's what gets it done. It's beyond the skill to be able to make a save. It is the will and the compete level that energizes everyone around him. Here's a rocket. 
His reflexes on display tonight. They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. New York's had plenty of good looks offensively, but they have been snake bitten as they trail late in this second period. The Rangers win the draw. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. New York's got the puck along the wall. Penalty coming up here. Well, with a one goal lead, there's a small margin of error, James, and to protect it, you can't be in the box. Now they're shorthanded, and they got to find a way to kill it off. They'll go back to work on their special teams. A power play that can even the score here, James. It is massively important that they create some kind of momentum in their favor on this one. Rips it! Nowhere for that shot to go through. And they'll dump it in. And he coughs it up with the pass! Pittsburgh's been working hard and have put forth a strong effort throughout this entire game, and that's the reason they have the lead. They wanted to extend the cushion, but unfortunately, bad luck on their side, or maybe it, it was good positioning by the goaltender, but nonetheless, it goes off the post and out. Ellers recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Trocek's won the draw here in the offensive zone. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Quick pass to Kreider. And that's blocked away. My goodness, the pressure really building here in the offensive end. And they finally clear the zone, easing up all that pressure. Sends the field in front. And carries off a twig in front of the net. Stopped by the goaltender. And look at this. They really ratchet up the intensity here. And there's the whistle as he slows things down to cover up, and this place is blowing up. Uh, they can't believe the save that they just witnessed either, James, and they're all on their feet, giving them a standing ovation and appreciation. Here in the late goings of the period, the Penguins lead it 1-0. New York's got it, and they're on the attack. Too much congestion in front. Centering pass. And that's stopped. They fight for it along the boards. We played not one, but two periods now tonight. It's a chance to go grab that final snack. Go stretch your legs, because a big third period is just around the corner. for period number three is ready to go. They have dropped the puck here in the third. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? The Rangers are trailing in the game here, James, but there's 20 minutes of runway left and they continue with like they did through the first 40 minutes, managing the puck, owning it in the offensive zone. They will cash in on their opportunities. Moves it to Crosby. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. And he slides it quickly to Fox. Dishes it to Kreider. Carries it across the line. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Oh, great reflex pad stopped by Chari. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Gensel's is usually an inch. to this one-timer opportunity. And it wasn't just an opportunity, James. It was a direct finish as he just slaps it and hammers it home. Pittsburgh's made it a two-goal game now here in the third. Uh, and that's a comfortable lead considering they've had the minority of the shots here. They've had some strong, solid goaltending that's given them an opportunity to get the lead. Now it's about managing the puck and seeing if they can survive it right to the finish line. Score! And they finally get one!
Well, and they break through. They finally get rewarded for their efforts here, James. I like the way they played. They didn't get frustrated. They stuck with it, and they wind up getting a goal. That's a great shot, James. The goaltender's in a solid position, but that low stick side shot, that's a difficult one to stop. New York's goal has suddenly tightened the gap here in period number three. Well, they're within one, James, and it's not enough right now, so they're gonna have to continue to counter, transition quickly, but most importantly, retrieve the puck. That is critical to be able to possess it. Into the offensive zone. The Rangers gain possession. O'Connor's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Here comes the official's decision. Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. They've got to find a way to get some momentum to get on the board. Now they find themselves killing the penalty. Man advantage unit is set. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice to set up the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. Came up with the save on that play. What a steal in his own end. And they managed to clear it. Picked up along the wall by Carter. Drives to the paint. Denies it in front. Man, is he ever known for this. When he drops into that butterfly positioning, he makes himself as big as possible. So tough to beat because there is no net available. Fires it off target. And that's knocked away. Here's a short pass to Carter. Sends it across. Can't get it to go. Well, he's definitely not at 100%. Really banged up out there, but he wants to continue to compete, James. He's not looking to get off. And the puck leaves the zone. The Rangers get back to even strength as the penalty killing unit delivers. Well, trailing in this game, James, this was a huge kill. They couldn't lose touch of the game, and they did an awesome job of killing that off. And he passes it up ahead to Raquel. All alone! Scores! What a finish in the alone! Wow, it is easy to score against these standards, in particular in these one-on-one -on -one battles. But he shakes and is able to bury it in the back of the net. Man, is he ever flying, James? It looks like everyone else is in quicksand, and he is moving. He gets on his horse. He's in all alone, one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. He doesn't freak out. He doesn't panic. Shows a ton of confidence and lets that shot rip. The Penguins are now up by two here in the back half of this third period. Man, this is a good position to be in. Uh, it's the best position to be in, and you don't want to give any life to your opponents. You have to make sure that you're pounding pucks. You're on them first. Listen, if you're forechecking, they don't get the puck. Attack. More than half the frame has been played here. The Penguins have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Mulkins won the draw, and they're on the attack. Easy pad save made by Shusterkin. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Tries to feed it over to Mulkin. Pittsburgh's looking to break out. Shot! by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. The Rangers need to find a way to break on through here. They've had plenty of shots on net, but they've got to convert here in order to even things up. And they win the draw on their own end. Passes the puck over to Wheeler. With possession along the wall. And now he moves it quickly to Lindgren. Smith's into the offensive zone now on the attack. And he slides it quickly to Latang. And that doesn't reach the net. Grabbed along the board by O'Connor. Puck picked up by Malkin. Great save from in tight. He's such an incredible player with balance, James. I mean, you've got that core stability, and you know how to shield and protect the puck. You can buy time. You can buy time for your line mates to come and join you, and you can score. incredible strength.
strength and balance, doesn't he, James? I mean, he's getting jostled off this puck or attempted jostled off the puck, and then he just gets lower and lower, positions himself to be able to hold on to it, then makes a beautiful pass, unsuspecting one of that, that winds up in the back of the net. The Penguins are having themselves a night, and they probably don't want this one to end, Pounder. Nah, I wouldn't. If you're padding the stats and you're putting up these kind of numbers, I mean, from start to finish, they've imposed their will on their opponent. And now he moves it to the premier. Coming up on the final minute of regulation time. Angles it over to Rust. And a smart heads-up read to come up with the puck. Moves it quickly over to Trocek. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. From right out of midair, he bats it down. Final seconds of this one, and the home fans certainly appreciate that they got their money's worth tonight. We got a penalty coming up here. Whistle stops the play. With a comfortable lead late in the game, the penalty likely doesn't matter, but you want to kill the first few seconds and the clock all at the same time. Carlin Bay is standing by with who had the better night. Crosby's been able to contribute by generating scoring chances, and you know his teammates appreciate it. I think he's been the player that stood out for me, guys. And we are all over with this one tonight. The Penguins have to feel good with this win tonight. Statistically, the better team. And win those draws, Cheryl. You talk about that constantly, and they did. Yeah, James, they won the battle at the dot, but even the 50 50 pucks, they were able to win them because their wingers were urgent and jumped in quickly. And this is telling a story of a team that wants to play confident. They want to get pucks quick, and they want to dictate the tempo. Thanks so much for joining us here. It was a fun one to call, and we will see you soon. For all of us here at EA Sports, stay safe.